Today is International Owl Awareness Day. How are you celebrating, Jason? Oh, gosh. I celebrate owls every day, Christian. Every day is International Owl Awareness Day. Well, hey, one thing that I didn't even know is that one of the challenges for owls living in urban areas specifically is soccer nets. I did not know that either. As the owls hunt in low light conditions, they're often so focused on chasing their prey, they slam right into a soccer net. Every year, the Raptor Center at the University of Minnesota treats a bunch of owls who are brought in for this very reason. So joining us now live on Skype to talk about owls, Lori Arendt, the assistant director of the Raptor Center. Lori, nice to have you with us today. Thank you for having me. Soccer nets, huh? I had no idea. Yeah, you know, we definitely see an uptick in great horned owls in particular who are trapped in soccer nets, usually in the summer and early fall. Okay. Well, yeah, that makes, so, yeah. That that makes it a challenge, of course, because uh, summer and fall are pretty much the time to play soccer here right. in Minnesota. So, uh, what what is some of the general advice? Well, you know, um, what we suggest is that if people are not using the soccer nets, that they either take them down if that's not too challenging, or put some type of cover over them. Another thing too that people can do is not eat around soccer nets because all those little crumbs that fall. Um, are just really enticing to rodents and other prey animals. And then, you know, that's very attractive for owls, right? Oh, interesting. Sure, yeah. Sure. yeah, they're hungry. They're hunting, right? That's what's going on there. What do you do exactly. if, you find, if you find an owl kind of tangled up in a net or injured? I'm sorry, what was that? Yeah, what do you do if you find an owl tangled up in a soccer net? Well, we certainly recommend the best thing to do would be to call the Raptor Center for some guidance. Um, we do have a core of rescue and transport volunteers that are trained for this very thing to go out and rescue, you know, birds that are entrapped or, or otherwise injured. So we strongly recommend that. We don't recommend that, you know, you try to take it out yourself because these guys, you know, they have sharp talons and beaks and, you know, they'll try to defend themselves, right? So you want to keep everybody safe. Yeah. As we look at these photos of mm -hmm. owls, it's, they're mesmer mesmerizing creatures. What kind of makes them so unique and special? Well, you know, the owls just have a whole aura of being very mysterious, right? But they have so many adaptations for being, you know, nighttime predators, right? They have silent flight. They have amazing senses of hearing and vision. Um, and they're opportunistic too. You know, they will, they will chase a variety of different things. And great horned owls are actually, what a lot of people don't know, the primary predators of skunks. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. Well, that. Yeah, I mean, they don't have a good sense of smell, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> no, not so much. I guess not. They have those peering eyes, that's for sure, but the nose, not right. so good. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, really good. It's a good day to celebrate. The owls are beautiful, beautiful creatures. And so we're so glad the Raptor Center does the work that you guys do to make sure uh, that owls in trouble uh, have some help. Yeah. yeah, thank you. And I just want to say, if, if I may, here that the, the uh, Raptor Center has a Google site with a whole bunch of fun owl related activities for people. So people can access that by going to our website and it'll tell people how to sign up. It's free. Cool. Okay. Excellent. Good to know. Lori, thank you. Yeah.